Hello. All right, here it is. My Springfield Armory, 1911 A1 loaded target. So this was a long road to get to a 1911, many Glocks to get me to the real McCoy. So let me show you some of the features. Uh, front and rear serrations that I'll show you on macro in a little bit. They're super, super sharp. Uh, doesn't have an extended mag release, which maybe I'll put on. Skeletonized trigger. Skeletonized hammer or the D hammer. Ambi thumb safety. It's got a mag well where at this point these are 230 grain Winchester white box. They're the real bullets for this gun. Feel that? That's like butter. You don't feel that on a plastic gun. So it has Target Trijicon night sights on it. There's an ambi safety. Uh, this gun was made in Brazil and it is absolutely awesome. I like black and stainless. I mean, obviously. Look at that, man. How badass is that? That's like incredibly badass. And that's the 1911 I was looking for. Springfield Armory. I have a Springfield XD and you compare that to it's an XD40. I compare that to one of my Glocks and it's just a superior weapon. The trigger just like on the XD the trigger on this is unbelievable. I don't know how many pounds it is and I gotta tell you it's a moot point because you just barely pull that so your trigger control which adds so much to your accuracy makes for a great shooting look at those sights i mean to me i love them i'd be lost if they didn't have the white dots on them that they're actually brighter than what the camera shows but yeah man now in a way 1911 G10 handles, and I tell you, you can get a grip on this. Let me show you these serrations, because I think it's, like, incredible. Look how deep they are. They're really cut into that slide. The one thing about it, though, the stamping is really bad you know I guess I could call Smithfield I mean Springfield and I and I'm sure that they would probably do something to help me but the stamping's not all too great but look how deep the serrations are it's unbelievable Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, I'm just, as you could imagine, I'm like overwhelmed with this. This is, this is, this has all the features that I really wanted. And it's black and stainless, which I really wanted. The only thing that kind of bugs me, it is pointed in a safe direction, is that. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go anywhere shooting where I wouldn't have access to an Allen key. I'm not going into combat or going into the field. It's just the idea that, you know, you need a tool to take the thing apart. That kind of bugs me. And I may swap that out for a uh, true full length or maybe I'll just put a government 
rod in there with a cap, which is just as well. But it shoots unbelievably. I'm like really happy with it. This is the Springfield Target loaded because it has Target Trigicon night sights on it. And it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now I feel like I'm a real gun owner. Well, been watching YouTube for a long time. Been watching a lot of videos with 1911s on it. And, uh, you know, at first I didn't have much of an interest, but uh, I started a look at my gun store, picking them up. This, oh, this also has the extended beaver tail. This thing is like so comfortable in my hand. Unbelievable. Yeah, man. Look at that. Look at that. And that trigger. Oh, like butter. Yep. So that's it. A model 1911 A1 target loaded black and stainless I've only seen a couple of these on YouTube I don't know if this is new a new model a new uh, you know G10 is really popular today especially with uh, knives and it is a great gripping material it feels good in the hand. I thought maybe plastic grips would feel cheap, but I don't know. G10s and I guess the the stuff they can do to it makes it a favorable uh, material, but it's awesome. I love it. So now I'm on the new path, 1911s. They rock. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends. Later.